Hello everyone, welcome back. This video will learn how we can develop a password protected locker with ChatGPT. So there will be different modules like keypad, buzzer, LCD, servo and etc. So let's get started and see how we can develop a project with ChatGPT. So here we will try something with keypad and Arduino. So that is why I have asked ChatGPT to suggest us some project ideas using Keypad and Arduino. This is the suggestion they have provided us. First of all, you can try some security system design with Keypad and Arduino. Digital door lock, calculator, home automation control panel, temperature and humidity logger. Then we can try out game console, access control system, digital safe, automated plant watering system, password protected information stories. Most of them are related with interfacing keypad with the Arduino project. So let's try out something like a uh, simple one. Let's say we will try out digital save where we'll put some predefined password and if the password inputted by the user is correct, it will unlock the digital save, otherwise it will not. So let's try out something like that. I am writing another prompt for interfacing a keypad with Arduino. Well, we have asked ChatGPT to write me a code with Arduino for interfacing keypad for our project. So here they have provided us the program. First, we'll need a library that is keypad.h. Then they are providing us the row number, column number, etc. And it is a 4x4 four four keypad. Okay. Then they are providing us the pin configuration like 9 to 8 for row pins and 5 to 2 is for column pins. Okay. Finally, they will print out the key pressed at the serial print. So that's a pretty simple program. Let's try out this program at Okui. So we have come to okui.com here if we go for part list we can find a keypad here this is the keypad so it's a 4x4 four four keypad just like the program we have obtained from chat gpt and here if you notice carefully the first four pins are related to rows and the next four pins are related to columns so Let's copy our code from here, from ChatGPT, and let's paste it at our code editor. Okay, from the code, it is obvious that the row number pins are connected to 9 to 6. So let's connect them serially. The first pin will connect it to 9 number pin of Arduino, then 8, then 7. The next pin is R4. So let's connect it to 6. So we have connected all the four row pins from keypad to 9 up to 6 number pin of Arduino as per the code. Next comes the column pin 5 to 2. So let's connect them. So first pin for 5. Then we have 4. We have the third column pin to be connected at 3. And the last pin to be connected at 2. So that's all for the configuration from the keypad to Arduino. As we are not using any external display, we are using just the serial monitor here. So no other things to be configured here. So let's see if this works for our project. If the interfacing comes properly with the program provided from ChatGPT. Here we have one task left. We need to configure we need to import this keypad.h library at the library manager. So let's search for keypad. Here we have a library named keypad. I think that's all for this program. Let's simulate the program from here. So simulation has started. Let us press the key. I have pressed 1. So 1 is showing here. Let's press 2, 3, A, 4, 5, 6, B, 7, 8, 9, C, star 0 hash and finally d so all the keys are getting detected here so our first mission is complete interfacing in between arduino 
and keypad is done. Now let's modify the code for further features. We want to make a default password for this program and if the correct password is put here from the user end, it should open a door. So let's uh, try that out at ChatGPT. So let me uh, prepare the prompt for you. We want to create a password based log. The log is controlled by a servo. So when someone enters the correct password, then the log should open. The default password is 1234, a four digit password. So this is the prompt I have written for this next feature that is password based log. Also, we need to write here, write me a code for this application with Arduino. Well, the response has been completed for us. So let us have a overlook of the code. They have added a servo header here, servo library. Then they have attached 10 number pin to servo pin. Then they have created a password for us, the default password that is 1234. Then in the void setup, they have initialized the servo and initially it will be at 90 degree at lock position. Then at the serial print, if the password is correct password, then they will print something like this. Password correct unlocking. Otherwise this. So I think that's all. Let's see how we can configure our circuit for this program. Also they are giving some instruction like make sure to adjust the servo pin, keypad wiring and other configuration based on the setup. The code assumes that the server is initially locked at 90 degree position and moves to 0 degree when the password is correct, simulating the unlock. Let's copy this code and paste at our previous editor. I'm replacing all the code here with the new code. And we'll bring in another component here, that is the servo. Servo, okay. The servo has three pin. The first pin is ground, then VCC and PWM pin. This PWM pin will have to connect it to 10 number pin of Arduino. So let me make some space and do the configuration. Let's connect the pin to 10 number pin of Arduino. You can give a different color here. Okay. Then we have VCC. VCC for 5 volt. Let's connect it to 5 volt and change the color to red. Then we have ground. Let's make a short ground here okay so that's all for the servo configuration also we need to include the library from the library manager here so let's search for servo here is the library we are looking for okay one more thing we need to understand here that there is no enter key at the password keypad there is some key that has been assigned as intern let us take a quick look at the program so here here's a statement here's a condition that is if key equal equal hash so whenever we're putting a string and at the end if we are putting hash that will that will work as enter okay so let's try that out so we'll first try something wrong like one Two, five, six, and for intern we will press this button hash the password is incorrect try again let's try one two three four this time this is the correct sequence and let's press this hash okay you can see the password was correct and unlocking again it has come to lock mode so let's try again one two three four hash so here you can see it has been unlocked and then locked. So let's try something new. We will use an LCD display here with this project so that we can see the output at the LCD and we don't want this serial monitor printing anymore. So let's jump into ChatGPT. I'll write something like this. Remove the serial print related commands from the above code and add an LCD with I2C module with this program and show the entered text at first row show the lock 
status at the second row okay let's try this out as we have requested chat gpt to remove the serial printing related commands and adding an lcd with i2c module the response has been completed for that request here we can see they have already added liquid crystal i2c header file then they have created the liquid crystal object also they have at the void setup initialized the lcd and the other related stuff as previous again all the serial printing related command has been removed and the lcd has been added to the program so let's do that we'll jump into GUI. we'll replace the previous code with the latest one and also we'll add a new component here that is lcd i2c module so here the first pin is ground we can also make it a short here the vcc we can make a short here as both are connected to the vcc and ground of arduino then scl and sda sda we need to connect it to a4 pin of arduino and scl we need to connect it to a5 pin of arduino so that's all for the configuration you can change the color to different color to make it more visible anyway that's all for the circuit configuration we have nothing else to configure here the program has been edited for us i will provide all the codes and the prompts we have used at the chat gpt in a separate doc file with this video okay so let's see how the simulation works out let's run this simulation here Oh, sorry, I have forgot to add the library that is liquid crystal library at the library manager. So let's add that here. Liquid crystal I2C, this one. Let's run the simulation. So it's showing that enter password. Let's enter a password here. One, two, three, four, and press this hash here. So password is correct, unlocking. Again, it has gone into reset mode and it's asking for new password. Let's try something wrong. 1478 hash. Incorrect password. Try again. 12345. It's not taking more than 4 because the digit, is, digit limit is 4. So, hash, it will. It will unlock the smart lock so let's say we want to add more components or more feature like when the password is correct it will make a buzzer but if the password is wrong it will make an alarm so let's do that add a buzzer to the above code and make a beep for correct password while an alarm for wrong password let's try this out okay the response has been completed for us here we can see they have added a buzzer pin for us that is 11 number pin of arduino should be connected to buzzer pin then if we go down they have created two function for us one is beef for correct password and alarm for incorrect password they have defined the functions at the later part of the program here beep that means they will make a sound for 200 millisecond using the tone and 1000 millisecond for wrong password for alarm function so that's how they are trying to make the notification using the beep buzzer okay let's copy this code and paste it into our ugui editor I am replacing the previous code here. I will share this code with you, so don't worry about the code. So here we need to add one more component. We need to add a buzzer here. So let's make that appear at this screen. The first one is uh, ground pin and the second one is for uh, the buzzer pin. So let's connect the first one to the ground pin. 
I'm making it short with this one and the buzzer pin let's connect the buzzer pin with 11 number pin of Arduino it's hardly visible here okay so let's make a different color for this one okay let's run the simulation here for this configuration we do not need any library for buzzer okay so let's enter a password one two three four this is the correct password and press hash so that's the beep now let's try something wrong one four five six this is the wrong password let's try this out so that's the alarm you can also make it longer or you can play different sounds like siren or something like that now what else you can add is up to you i will be ending this video with this feature but what else you can add here let's ask, ask chat gpt if they can suggest us some new feature also what other features can we add to this project so i am asking chat gpt that we have added lcd servo buzzer and keypad what else is out there that chat gpt can suggest us for this project let's see so the response from chat gpt is suggesting something like this multiple user support like allow the system to store and recognize multiple user password okay that's a nice feature like you can set different password for different users and each users can have their unique pin and password second feature is changeable password like we are implementing a hard-coded password like one two three four it could be a changeable password also that's a new feature timeout and lockout introduce a timeout period after a certain number of incorrect password attempts okay that's a great feature like we can lock the user out if it tries to attempt with wrong password for multiple times logging keep a log of successful and unsuccessful logging attempts so that could be added remote access integrate a wireless module like wi-fi or bluetooth to allow remote access or control of the log okay biometric authentication we can uh, add features like fingerprint scanning facial recognition or additional layer of security notification system we can send notification or alerts when certain events occur such as successful login or repeated incorrect attempts so that's a great feature i think configurable parameters like allow user to configure parameters such as timeout duration lockout threshold or even length and complexity requirements of password something like that what we have in our program was pretty simple it's a four digit password and a hard-coded one but if user wants they can change the parameters like it could be a six digit password it could be a mixture of something like that so backup unlock method like implement alternative unlock method like backup codes physical keys something like that battery monitoring if your system is battery powered add a feature to monitor the battery level that's a security feature for the security lock itself then voice commands integrate a voice recognition module intruder detection like motion sensor based uh, intruder detection or something like that so all these features these are advanced features that we can integrate with our project and you can try all these things for yourself so i hope that's a great uh, demonstration for a smart lock based password system i am leaving all these features for you guys to explore for yourself so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.